Hey, this is the Steel Lodge. Today we're covering a great update for the Steam Deck that just came into the beta branch, and that is the ability to set the refresh rate of your screen, anywhere from 40 hertz to 60 hertz. Now, you can just go down to the description below and look at the timestamps that I have if you just want to skip around the video fast. But 40 hertz is great because 40 FPS, actually in terms of responsiveness, falls right between 30 and 60. I'll put some math up on the screen right here, but you can see that in terms of frame time delivery to this screen, 40 hertz comes very close to falling right between 30 and 60. With 40 FPS, we'll be able to get better responsiveness from games that struggle to hit 60, and also better battery performance from games that run at 60 but don't necessarily need it. We'll be taking a look at a number of games later on in the video, showing exactly 30 FPS versus 40 FPS and uncapped performance. So you can see the battery life performance and the frame time graph. So let's jump into it. So here's how to set the fixed refresh rate on the Steam Deck with this update. Bring up your quick guide by pressing the three dot button and go to your performance section. Expand it into advanced view. Now, right below the frame rate limit, there's a new thing called refresh rate. Here, you can toggle this anywhere between, like I said, 40 in the beginning or 60. And honestly, I recommend doing this before you launch into a game. When you're in game, the screen will blank out for a couple seconds when you're changing this value. And I've even had games hard crash and my display completely black out and I'm unable to do anything unless I hard turn off and reset my Steam Deck. Above the refresh rate, we still have the frame rate limit, but you'll notice that the numbers will change there if we tweak the numbers here. And that's because these numbers should divide evenly into the refresh rate if you have VSync enabled to make sure you don't get any torn frames. Here's a quick look at the settings we're using for The Witcher 3, 720p, and all medium settings. In the 30 versus 40 comparison here, we do not have an ideal scene, I'll admit, but you can look at the battery comparisons, and on the left side you'll notice the battery is actually going up. Before this I had the game in 60 FPS mode, so it's actually adjusting the estimate for the battery life to meet that 30 FPS lock. By the end of the recording here, it'll adjust back up to what it actually thinks it's going to be. It is pretty similar to what the 40 FPS lock has, but the 40 FPS lock has slightly higher battery value. The places you're going to be able to notice the FPS difference the most is in the movement of the camera and the characters. During actual gameplay, this is much more noticeable with inputs and you're manipulating the camera with the right thumbstick. Into unlock versus 40 FPS. Now on the unlock side here, it looks like our 60 FPS is solid and we're actually above it for a lot of the time. Sometimes we drop below it, but during actual gameplay in the open world, at 720p at the settings I showed, you're definitely dropping below 60 FPS very consistently. Another big thing to notice is our battery life is way lower on the unlocked version than it is on the 40 FPS version. Now we have some Sekiro gameplay running at 720p and high settings. Reflexes are really important in this game, and the frame rate really makes a big difference for input. On the left side, the battery is a little bit higher, but the difference is around 20 minutes probably if you were to directly compare the same battery level between 30 and 40 FPS. The gameplay is much more enjoyable in the handle with 40 FPS versus a 30 FPS version.
Here we have 60 FPS gameplay on the left and 40 FPS on the right. You'll notice though that we're not hitting 60 FPS at all, and Sekiro is a game that really just struggles to hit 60 FPS on the Steam Deck, basically regardless of whatever settings you pick. Another big takeaway here is that the battery performance on the 40 FPS lock is about 40 minutes better, despite the fact that the battery percentage is actually lower than the uncapped version. The last game we're looking at is Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's easy to run on the Steam Deck and locks 60 FPS no problem. The main purpose of this test is battery performance. With the 30 FPS lock, we're looking about 10 minutes better than the 40 FPS lock for battery life. The final comparison is 60 FPS versus 40 FPS in Hollow Knight. On the left, the battery is a little bit higher, but if they were even, I'd say around 20 minutes better on the 40 FPS version than the 60 FPS one. Overall, this is a great update for the Steam Deck. Even though it's just in beta form, it seems to work pretty well. Letting players customize how they want to play is such a strength of PC gaming, and the Steam Deck really capitalizes on that. If you like this video and want to check out a lot more like it, please subscribe and look over the channel and see what I got. Thanks for watching.